Guys, Econ John here. In this video, we're going to talk about angle aggregation, the intuition behind it, and then prove it mathematically. Let's go. So, what is angle aggregation? Angle aggregation refers to a unique property that budget shares of goods in interaction with their respective income elasticities hold when summed together. Angle aggregation is defined as the following, which is the summation of all the budget shares of good I, where I goes from 1 to N, times their respective income elasticities should equal 1. So in our simple two good case of our angle aggregation, we end up with our budget share of good one times the income elasticity of good I plus the budget share of good two times the income elasticity of good two, right? This is a statement for any Marshallian demand that satisfies the budget balancing condition otherwise referred to as Walrus's law. So the proof for angle aggregation is the following. Recall an implication of Walrus's law is that the consumer's budget will be balanced. This statement is that of the budget constraint. Taking the partial derivatives with respect to M of this budget constraint, we get one is equal to the summation of all the prices of good I, where I goes from one to N, times the partial derivative of their respective Marshallian demands with respect to income, right? Now, multiply both sides of these, this equation by Marshallian demand for good xi all over m times m all over xi. So this is essentially multiplying both sides by 1. And we get this nice result over here, which is our budget share of good i times our income elasticity of good i. So thus, this proof is complete. So that's angle aggregation. And I hope this video helps. I'll see you in another one. Take care.